launched on that. All right, about to start my review process of the Taylo 3-inch 7-shot 357 Magnum GP100. Test ammo will consist of starting with a 38 Special Plus P125 grain jacket at Hollow Point Blazer. Then I'll probably jump to the 158 grain Fiocchi. It's rated at 1220. We'll see if these are good training rounds, if these are possible cheap carry rounds or not because they're tested from a much longer barrel. So I'm not sure uh, what kind of recoil, if I can deal with that, I'll jump down to the 125 at 1450. That's screaming stuff, which matches the original badass loadings from Federal. Be the test ammo. Now this is my first day, I ordered some nice holsters. They have not come in yet. So don't laugh, this is what I got to work with today. I'm gonna try inside the waistband with this uh, Romero. Uh, Remora, Remora holster, and this uh, handy dandy high tech fleece, no Paul Harrell, it's not fleece, uh, cotton sock to act as a little bit of a wedge. I do have a Hank Steel belt on, so it's not going anywhere, it will be pretty tight. I'm going to do some of that probably with the t shirt or drawing over the t shirt. And some shots I'll be throwing back with my X Elements concealment vest. Guys, I just did a video on concealed carry options in the car. Not just for everyday people, but also for cabbies and stuff. 125 grain 38. Uh, Ruger Magnums are set for 158 grain Magnums at 25 yards, I believe. So, actually not a bad group. For me, I'm obviously not a great shot, but that's a fist group. I'm not Paul Harrell. 10 yards though, 38 Special Plus P. Just over, just over a fist group. Not bad. The results of that are I went for the same target on accident, kinda, and uh, well, I still got my fist grouping 10 rounds. Still way high, way high, but uh, four out of five, four out of five are in a really tight group right here. One, two, three, four, five down there, a little over a fist. So, um, my hold, do I need to adjust the sight a bit. All right, let's see what the recoil is like. Fiocchi, 158 grain, rated at 1,220 feet per second. Hello. Yowzers. This is pretty hot stuff. All right, let's bring it in and see how we did. Woo! Magnum Force. I said, woo! Before adjusting the sights, I want to check it with the 125 grain. I'm a little scared. I think this is going to recoil pretty darn bad. 125 grain, 1,450 feet per second. I think that's like 180, uh, 583 pounds foot of energy. Uh, which is really fast. I haven't been a, mostly a 45 and a 9 millimeter shooter. It's pretty stout. Uh, it's faster in the initial acceleration, but not as bad down at the end. Uh, I think there's some flash on that bad boy, though, huh? All right, wow, let's bring it in. Um, I don't know if I'm just getting used to it already. Or what? I think the fourth shot, I really, really felt, and the other four weren't quite as bad. I felt like the 158 was even worse. Pause there, so I can go look. 125.38s were an inch high, so still probably got to bring it down a bit. 158. Magnum. Hello. All right, 125. Yowzers. I think I actually like, I don't know. It's a toss up between 125 and uh, 158. What's it look like on film? Well, that was a bullseye and a 10 ring. So 125 is on for 10 yards for me. 
three of the 125s followed by three of the 158. I'll check it in between 10 yards and uh, I did lower a bit again to see if I can get an in between range. See if you can notice recoil difference. Yeah, the 158 hurt me. 125, it should be the other way around, but maybe maybe it's the powder and it might change when I switch over to the federal. Yeah, the 158's hurt. Alright, I'm gonna do it, switch it to the probably even hotter federal stuff. 25 grain first three shots. This is the 158 grain. Here we go. Yowzers. Yeah, that's hotter than the Fioki. Fioki is a long test barrel, but. All right, the 125 fed was the one was on, one was an inch low, and one was a couple inches high. Um, so that's not bad. So this is pretty sighted in for 125. It's just maybe um, a little bit high right now. I might want to just move it just a tiny bit. But before I do that, let's check the recoil on the 158 and see if it's worse like, um, like the Fioki was. Obviously, the federal one, the magnets are built around 158 until all of a sudden. Uh, a few years before um, all of a sudden they switched to 25s as far as law enforcement. Yeah, that's hotter than this is. Shit, this is too hot. Whew. Uh, but I'd carry it if I was in the north and I might have to take out not just two legged but, but a bearer or something. So I'd probably want to jack it at soft point for that.